everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back and thank you for supporting me. I'm Coretta. So today I'm back with another Sublimation DTF pack. In my last video, I used transparency film, but in today's video, I will be using Yamation DTF film and adhesive powder to create this really, really cute shirt where I supplemented on 100% cotton. Come on y'all, let's get started. The supplies that I am using for this project will be Yamation DTF transfer film, Yamation DTF powder adhesive, and I have medium white, you're going to need a piece of copy paper. You're going to need painter's tape and parchment paper. I got the painter's tape from my local hardware store and I got my parchment paper from Walmart. You can also get it from the Dollar Tree. I will leave the I will leave a list of all of the supplies below. So let me start out by saying the process of using the DTF film and sublimation ink is a hack. It is not a true DTF process. I do not own a DTF printer, and at this time, I do not have any plans to purchase one. Also, like sublimation, the hack will only work on light color fabrics. You will still need to you will still need additional products for this hack to work on dark color fabric. Now that I have that out of the way, as you can see, I've already placed my design on a Silhouette Studio canvas. My design is sized at approximately nine inches in width and eight inches in height. I downloaded this design from Creative Fabrica. I will, leave a, I will leave a link in the description below. While there, make sure you check out their subscription plans and all of their images and if you like them, feel free to sign up using my affiliate link. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to print the design. To print the design, I'm going to go to file in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to go to print. I am going to select my sublimation printer. I want to check to make sure that my setup preferences are good. And so to check that, I'm going to go to preferences. And in preferences, I am going to select my preset of A sub 8.5 by 11 premium presentation matte setting. I'm going to check to make sure my paper. My document size is eight and a half by 11. My paper type is premium presentation matte. I'm gonna go to more options and I'm going to check to make sure that my mirror image is selected. Once I'm satisfied, I'm going to select okay and then I'm going to print. So in my last sublimation DTF hack video, I learned that in order to get the film to go through the printer, I had to tape it to a piece of copy paper. Knowing this, I'm going to show how I tape the two together. To tape them together, I'm going to remove the DTF film from the packaging, making sure to note the correct print size. According to the packaging, the print side is facing up. So I'm going to remove the DTF film from the packaging and I am going to place it on, oops, sorry, place it on top of the copy paper. And as you can see, the copy paper and the DTF film are not the exact same size. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to take a piece of tape, painter's tape, 
and I am going to place the painter's tape across the top of the DTF film and across the back of the copy paper. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to align the film and the copy paper like so. And then I'm just gonna put the tape down and I'm gonna use less tape on the front than I will on the back. So I'm gonna put the tape down on top of the DTF film like that. And then I'm gonna fold the other half of the tape to the back of the copy paper like so. Next, I'm going to put the film, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm going to put some small pieces of tape on the side of the DTF film and the copy paper because the last time when I did it, the printer was pulling the film and the paper and it was trying to pull them separately when I want them to go together want them to go through the printer together so that the printer can recognize the DTF film. And that's why we are taping it because the film alone is not being recognized by the printer. And so it's making it difficult to go through. So now I have my paper and my DTF film and my copy paper set up. I'm gonna put it in the printer and print out the design. image is printed, I will immediately sprinkle the DTF adhesive powder onto the image while the ink is still wet. You want to do this so that the powder can stick to the image, to the ink. So you want to sprinkle it over there. Be generous because all the powder that um, once you finish, you can just put the, re the rest of it, you can put it back into the jar, to re into the bag to reuse it. And so I just was extra generous with my powder. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it this way. And then I'm going to roll it back the other way to make sure that I totally cover my design. And you'll know when your design is covered because it'll have like a little frosty, sugary look to it. So that's how you know that you've covered your image with the DTF powder. So looks like I got everything. And so I'm gonna shake the excess off by tapping it onto the paper just to get the excess off. And there you go. I don't think you can really see the difference, but you can probably see it now that the entire image has been coated.
The next step in the process is to cure the adhesive powder. To cure the adhesive powder, I'm going to place the DTF film under the heat press for two minutes. I'm going to hover the top platen over the film without touching it until the powder is crystallized. Curing the powder will help us, will help to have the adhesive powder to adhere to the ink and also to help the design to adhere to the shirt. And so I'm just gonna pull my heat press down and hover it over top of the DTF film like so, and I'll hold it here for two minutes. I'll be back when the two minutes now is up. that the image is cured, I'm going to prep my shirt. And as you can see, the image is cured because the colors are a lot more vibrant the image doesn't have that frosted look to it. And so that is an indication that our adhesive powder has cured to the sublimation ink. So now again, I'm getting ready to, I'm gonna prep my shirt to press the design onto my shirt. So my shirt is prepped. I lint roll my shirt. I pre-pressed it to get the moisture out. I have put parchment paper on the bottom of my heat press. I've also put parchment paper in between the shirt just in case the sublimation ink bleeds through. I've also checked the design for roller markings and I've cut them away as well as the edges of the design of the paper so that I don't press any unnecessary or in un or any unwanted ink. Now I am going to press this design for three at 325 degrees for 10 seconds, remembering that the ink was activated during the curing process. So I do not need to press this shirt at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. So now I'm going to press the shirt. So I've let my shirt cool off. And so now it is time to remove the DTF film from the shirt. So I'm just gonna pull it. Okay. All right now. Oh, okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a second press on the design to make sure that the design is pressed in the shirt and it won't peel when it's washed. So I'm gonna put some parchment paper on top and then I'm gonna press it for 10 seconds. So, like before, I like, I like, I like. What do you guys think? The colors are nice and vibrant. That, that crafting is my superpower. That red in there is really, really vibrant. So, that's all. All right, guys. That's all for now. I hope that you were able to follow along with my process. If you like this video and would like to see more, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will respond back. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.